Hey everybody, and welcome back to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Golden Wind, Season 4, Part 5, Episode 5, Six Bullets Appear, Part 2. That was a lot of numbers, but here's a countdown. It's more numbers. Five, four, three, two, one, go. I don't know why I started from five. I just felt like you deserved two extra numbers for this bit. You know? Generous number giving. You want another number? 87. You thought it was it was going to be something like 69 or 420? That's too basic. You guys deserve something better than that. Number jokes. That's where we're at right now. There's really not much to be said about this whole thing. Like, the intro is fine. Um... There's not many anime intros that I actually like, I'll be honest with you. They, they really toned down the 3D effect thing. I think because, like... Though it was done well, it, it can be a little tacky at times. I like the way they do use 3D effects in this. I feel like they did figure out the correct way of doing it. Where, um, you don't depend on it. You just use it as, like, an accent to make shots easier. Like, when they were spinning on the boat. Like, that would have been a really difficult shot to do, like, traditional animation-wise. Um... That's a really nice way of looking at it, you know? That rather than just, you know, um, taking the well-beaten track, the easy route, you know, y you had to go pathfind your own weird way. Do you have a gun, or is that... So apparently him, like, fighting all the time has helped, you know? Is this when he found out that he has a stand? Okay, there, there's a certain...
Yeah, point blank. So one of the things that they they teach you when you're messing around with guns is that um, your accuracy when you're in a calm environment, like at a range, is as good as it will ever be. There's no stress. You don't have to worry about it. Um, but the closer you get to someone who's actually going to kill you if you don't fire the shot correctly, the more you panic. And so just like practice is what makes it so that way you do not miss it's it, what it's what allows you to control yourself they teach you that in martial arts as well that the the practice is more just to be comfortable with it now that being said he he was missed because of of stupid jojo reasons but that's okay you know again just treat it like a like a superhero thing when we're fine but the the practice when it comes to combat is wait what You hit him in the head and he's fine? Jojo. Well, if you kill him, you no one will know. Maybe there's just nothing in there to kill, you know? Like, there's no brain. He surely has a stand of some sort. Also, this poor truck driver who's just like, can I, can I pull over now? Craft work. Okay. Like the band. I was going to say like arts and crafts. That's a dumb name. That's not the name. I was waiting for him to say it. So that was... Yeah. Unless if he, relo if he reloaded at some point, which I didn't see, he's out. And you, you really can't load a gun one-handed. He can't, can he? It's like speed, but... but stupid. It's like a pair- it's like a bra decided to become a pair of pants. What the fuck is that? What are you wearing? Oh, uh, okay, so if... <sighs> yeah, it's fine. If you're the truck driver, at some point you just gotta go like, hey, maybe I can go for a tunnel or something. You know? Can you use your stands? And just... Yeah, there you go.
So they were holding on to the first bullet? There you go, good! Now is he out of range of the truck so you can do stuff? It is really fun to try and figure out what the fuck the actual stand is supposed to be called. You know? I've never been able to get into craft work. I've tried. You know? Like, they're a huge influence for, like, Daft Punk and stuff, right? Just kind of that whole scene, really. But, um... Well, not if you're f driving the fuck away like that. Maybe you tell the d driver, like, hey, you can stop now? You weren't that far behind. Catch up. I mean, I guess they were, like, hauling ass. I thought he was, like, still at the doorway. Yeah, you put two in. Mm. So was his belief that the number four is so dangerous? That's a pretty good ability. I, hmm? Is that real? Like, what if you shoot him in the eye or something? Like, is your accuracy good enough that you could do something like that? Like, even a surface wound to an eye is pretty bad. And the more you can, like, fuck with his ability to, like, you know, interact with you, the better. But you've only got four bullets, one of which will miss because... Four. You can fly? This poor guy. Hurry up, stop. Just bounce, man. Just bounce. Get the fuck out of here. Like, you don't need to be involved. Okay. Can you shoot him while he's doing this shit? Like, surely he can't move that fast, right? God damn it! God, this guy, next time he gets a chance, he needs to leave. I need to start moving again. When? Did you use your stand to kick the bullet, or did you actually take that shit?
being shot? Yeah, that's what you've been doing this whole time, going around and shooting people. Are you thinking of... What? Yeah, I don't know where he's gonna shoot. His idea is to get it in his mouth? That just feels like the incorrect choice, but it's gonna work. Whatever his plan is. What's the point of saying all of this? It just makes him look like a badass, that's the point. What was the plan? Yeah, that didn't work, did it? I don't get how, like, the inside of his body is going to be any different to bullet fire with his ability. Why would you let it hit into your mouth if you knew that's what he was doing? Doesn't that hurt? If something is a pain in the ass, I still go out of my way to do it if it involves me not getting shot in the fucking mouth. Even if that doesn't kill me. I do a lot of things that involve me not getting shot in the mouth. It's a bit of a pain in the ass every now and then, but it's worth. Might be best to just drop off the side of this truck. Oh? Okay. So they jumped off. I mean, they didn't curve the bullet, so I figured that was the case, right? The bullet that he already hit? That was like some sniper elite shit there.
Yeah, it looks more or less like that when someone gets shot in the head. It's fucking gross. Obviously less dramatic delay, you know? It's a little late for that dude! You put two bullets in his head! Truck driver dude, fucking MVP of this episode. <clears throat> Keeping his shit together this whole time. Poor guy. He has a gun. You might want to just tell him, like, hey, I think your friends just went in there. Was it a guy wearing a doofy outfit shooting at another guy in a doofy outfit? Because, uh, I've been catering them around, you know? Save yourself some energy and time there. A little bit of gas money, too. Someone's made a mixtape, at least one mixtape, of exactly the songs on this. Not like the the JoJo-specific songs, but the songs like Roundabout and Freaking You and stuff like that. Someone's done that, right? Like, I'm sure if I search on YouTube for, like, JoJo intro-outros, I'll find it. It's like the least original idea ever. Oh, and you can see the bullet guys in the background. I don't know if that was there before. I just didn't ever notice them. God, they... The weird midriff showing shit that everyone's got going on on this episode, like, this season. Like, did he just get some experience drawing abs? And he's like, man, you know what? Like... I want more crop tops in my universe. He's probably like, dude, I should have had Dio in a crop top this entire time. What was I doing? That was a huge creative mistake for me to make. All right, and that's it. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. There's going to be two um, on the days that I do these. So, you know, make sure you're in the playlist as always, and I'll see you for the next one.